My name is Juliet Golden Low, founder of the Girl Scouts. I have an interesting troop they've sent me this morning. <laughs> you know, I was a very interesting person in my time as well. Around here, they used to call me Crazy Daisy. Okay, maybe I was just a little bit crazy for my time. You see, when I was small, little girls were meant to be seen and not heard. Like, hey, I think little flowers. <laughs> but that just wasn't me. See, I had a love for life, a thirst for adventure, and I was always up to something. You don't know if I like that, do you? From climbing trees in long dresses as a small child to climbing the Great Pyramids in Egypt, I was even inspired by my good friend Roger Kipling. You remember him? He wrote the Jungle Book. To go on safari in India, where I finally got to hunt real tigers. But the greatest thing that I ever started started right here in 1912. I've been spending time in London and was inspired by my meeting with Lord Baden Powell. He just recently started the Boy Scouts, and the girls were furious. See, at the time, no girls were allowed. And anything those silly boys could do, those girls could do better. So I helped his sister start the Girl Guides in London and Scotland. But I really couldn't wait to bring that idea back home to the States. So in March of 1912, I decided to skip my trip on the Titanic. <laughs> to come back here and call up my good cousin Nina. Well, Nina Pate was a teacher here at the Massey School, and I knew she'd be perfect for the job. By the way, this is an amazing museum. You do need to make sure to come back and see this one. From that first troop of about 18 girls, gathered from all over Savannah, the Girl Scouts and the Girl Guides grew and grew and grew. But daisies, you might say.